All right, so I've just seen the first movie of 2024, Night Swim. And the good news is, is that it can only go up from here. Um, yeah, this movie was not very good. Um, I'm a big scaredy cat, so I don't normally watch horror movies unless I know I can handle it. And I saw the trailers for this movie and none of the trailers really scared me. And it was really the only movie coming out this week. So and I felt like watching something. So I went and I decided to check it out. And yeah, it just, it wasn't very good. I've, I've seen... I haven't seen very many horror movies, but I've seen some of the greats, you know, I, I've seen The Shining, for example, so I know the staple of how a good horror movie should be, and this one just, it, it, it doesn't really do it, it just does all the typical basic things that you'd think a horror movie should do, it does it, but it doesn't add anything new or interesting to make it worthwhile, um, I think this movie would have been a lot better if it was more comedic. Um, Wyatt Russell is in this movie, uh, and he's really good, not necessarily in this movie, but he's really good in general, and I like him a lot. Him and, and Carrie Condon as well, who plays his wife, um, they're both really good, and they deserve a lot better than this. And I think near the end of the movie, Wyatt Russell's character starts playing things slightly comedic, and I think if they went with that for the whole movie, it would have been a lot more interesting because the idea of a haunted pool is kind of ridiculous in and of itself. And I think if you played kind of with the comedy of that, it I'm not saying it would have been a good movie. I don't know if it would have saved it, but it would have been more interesting than this generic movie that we got. Um, it just... the It just doesn't do anything interesting. Um, like, you see, there's a... There's a, the family has a pet. I don't want to spoil anything, but if you've seen a horror movie and you see an animal, you probably know what's going to happen to that animal, especially if that animal is a pet. Um, and it happens, but when you actually stop back and think about it, once they explain the, the lore or the, uh, the reason why the pool is haunted and what's going on here, what happens to the pet doesn't make any sense as far as the rules of this haunted pool go. Um, even the, the ghosts, I guess I could call them, in and of itself, don't follow their own rules. They don't make any sense. They, they reveal something about the, the ghosts and what their goal is and what they want. And then in the climax of the movie, one of the ghosts does something that is completely contradictory to what they were doing earlier in the movie. And there's no explanation given. There's no reason why they, you know, they do something completely different than what they were doing earlier. It's just, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, the biggest problem with this movie, though, besides it being generic and not making any sense, is the characters are all really stupid. Uh, none of, I can get behind, a movie's not scary anymore if the characters are dumb. At that point, I'm rooting for them to die because they deserve it. And these characters deserve everything that's happening to them because any sane person would not have gotten into the situations that these characters get into. They're all so dumb and so stupid. And it's just... You, I can't root for them because they don't they don't deserve to make it out of here. Uh, I, like Cabin in the Woods, for example, does a great job of uh, walking that line of the characters acting kind of dumb, but there's a reason for it. Uh, and I think this movie does not do that. It is just characters acting dumb and stupid. And at that point, I'm just like, well, okay, who cares if you die? You kind of got, you had this coming. So unfortunately, not a recommendation for me uh it's in theaters if you want to go watch it but honestly i i have a feeling your time is better spent watching one of the movies that came out earlier uh last year you know like uh the color purple or wonka or you know something like that um or even waiting a week since we're getting mean girls and the beekeeper which hopefully those movies aren't generic but who knows so yeah 2024 not off to a great start movie wise but hey I mean, expectations are low now, so what can go wrong?